Hi everyone, it's Asuka here. In this video, I will show you how to draw a teddy bear using magnetic gel. This glittering teddy bear design looks three-dimensional, and the rounded silhouette is very cute. If you draw it on a black base using silver magnetic gel, you can instantly change the color to a variety of different colors. I will be explaining in detail how to apply the magnet and how to draw, so please watch until then. Okay, let's get started! In this video, I will apply it to nail tips, but if you are applying it on your own nails, start by doing nail care, sanding, and removing oil, and then apply a base coat and let it cure. First, let's apply the color gel for the base color. In this case, we'll be applying black so that the teddy bear will stand up more clearly. Once you have applied it all over, cure it. One coat is too light, so apply it twice and then harden it. Next, let's prepare the magnetic gel. You can use any color of magnetic gel you like. In this case, we'll be using this silver gel which has a strong glitter effect. First, you should mix the magnetic gel well with a spatula or a toothpick as the particles may have settled to the bottom. When mixing the gel, if you stir it vigorously in a circular motion, bubbles will form in the gel. So you should stir it slowly and gently to avoid this. After stirring the magnetic gel, prepare a long thin line brush and outline the teddy bear's face. Draw an oval shape about half the size of your fingernail. Leave some space for the teddy bear's ears. Once you have outlined the face, fill in the inside of the lines with magnetic gel. Apply a little more gel so that you don't have to apply it twice. Once you have filled in the face, prepare the magnet. First, use a square magnet and move it towards the center of the oval. Apply the magnet from the top, bottom, left, right, and diagonally towards the center of the oval to make it sparkle all over. Next, use the round magnet on the other side and move it from the tip towards the base of the nail, about halfway down the oval to gather the glitter. This blackened area will become the nose of the teddy bear. Once you have blackened the nose in this way, cure it. Next, we'll make the nose part. As before, first outline the oval shape of the nose using a line brush. The key is to leave a little black area around the outline. This will make it look like the nose is standing out.
After outlining, fill in the inside of the line. Once you fill it in, use a square magnet and apply it to the center of the oval, just as you did when drawing the face. Apply it from above, below, left, right, and diagonally to make it sparkle all over. Once it's sparkly all over, let it cure. Next, let's draw the ears. Draw one on the top right and one on the top left of the face and fill them in. Again, don't attach them to the face perfectly, but leave a little black line showing. Once filled in, use a square magnet to push the glitter towards the base, creating a glitter gradient. Once the ears are done, cure it. Next, draw the feet. Start with the right foot. Draw a slanted oval in the lower right corner of the tip side. Once you've drawn it, fill in the inside. Once you fill it in, use a square magnet to gather the glitter in this part of the foot. Once you have finished one foot, let it harden. Do the same for the left foot. Once you have finished the left foot, let it harden. Next, draw the body. Draw a rounded body that connects the two feet in the nose. Again, the key is to leave a little black at the border between the legs in the body and between the face in the body. After outlining, fill in the inside. After filling in, apply a square magnet from the top, bottom, left and right to make the whole body sparkle. And then move the sparkle towards the feet. Apply the magnet from the face to the feet to create a gradient. Once the gradient is complete, cure. Next, draw the arms. Let's draw each arm in the same way. Again, fill in the area between the body and the border leaving a small black line. Use a square magnet to move the glitter towards the body and then harden it. Draw the other side in the same way and cure it. Finally, draw the eyes and nose. First, take a small amount of black gel out onto the palette or aluminum foil. 
Take a small amount of gel and draw the eyes first using a line brush. Draw a long oval shaped circle along the shape of the nose. To prevent the gel from dripping, temporarily harden it with the light for about 5 seconds and then draw the nose. Draw an oval about two thirds of the way down the nose, the same size as the eyes. Once you've done that, draw a line under the nose. Draw a short line downwards. Then, draw a curve to the left and right. At the end of the line, draw it to become thin and sharp. Once you have drawn this far, let it harden. Finally, draw some light into the eyes. Take a small amount of white out onto the palette. And then put a little gel on the tip of your line brush and draw small dots in the eyes. Just adding these dots makes the eyes look more shining. Then, cure it as it is. Now, let's finish it off by applying a no wipe top coat. Once you've applied it all over, cure it. And that's it! We made a very cute shiny teddy bear! This time, I used black as the base color and drew the teddy bear using silver magnetic gel. With this color combination, you can change the color of your teddy bear. If you choose a sheer color like this one, which allows your natural nails to show through, you can change the color by applying additional coats on top. Try arranging it in your favorite colors. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.